All right, Wolf Gang, which you know, man, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be uh, watching Dub's video because that's exactly what Dub would do. He would react to it and get a bag and make a video and that's what I'm gonna do. Now, honestly, the other day was the first time I seen Dub since February something, I don't know. I don't know. You guys know me, man. I'm not one really for bringing any kind of drama or any, you know, anything that's like personal or like that, I really stay away from doing any of that kind of crap on the internet. You know, just let real life shit be real life shit. And then, you know, the jokes and all that can go onto the internet. So, if you're gonna watch this, I'll give you guys my, my side of the story. It's been 18 days since I did a full intense workout. All this chasing. I'll be honest, bro. I'm gonna skip all this. Not 80%. In the video. If you're Chino, skip my <laughs> I put y'all in my life because I always do. Nothing is, I have no personal life. And no matter what I say, oh, I don't tell y'all everything I do. So as you can see, uh, he, ripped, he, got, he ripped his pants. And he was, he was hold on, hold on, this was hard work. He was doing squats. <laughs> hard work. He ripped his pants, but can I, can I show the shirt? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, on the it's on the back. It's on the back. So this is uh, Chino's merch, right? Wolf Gang. And um, you know, it's four people. And everybody here is Wolf Gang, I guess. New merch is dropping soon. You know, shout out to the boy Ace. New Wolf Gang merch dropped soon, bro. Hey, but anyways, um, I'm getting a lot of comments and y'all been saying like, dang, you ain't cool with Chino. I haven't seen Chino in a while. And I honestly, no. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going for the sugar color. No, me and Chino isn't cool anymore. I wouldn't say we're beefing or anything. We just haven't talked. I haven't talked. Should I tell them the real story? Tell them the real story. Bro. Hey, Damo, should I tell them the real story with me and Chino? Or should I just fabricate it? Uh, All right, so based on whatever story he's about to tell, I'm gonna give you guys my side of the story. All right. No, he's still the real story. So the real story is is that on March when Kai was doing his subathon, I had told Chino like, "Yo, bro, I think you should make Kai a painting because you know you keep making this shit with people nobody give a f about. You know what I'm saying?" And you need to do it for somebody that somebody care about. Like this is the biggest streamer in the world. And everybody is dropping stuff off to him. I think you should do it. I told Chino, let's say if I told Chino on Monday, he didn't text me and said he on Tuesday I said, yo, is it done? He said, no, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. On Thursday, he said it was done. And about this time, this was the 20, this was the last day of the stream. It was a 24 hour stream. And somebody came in with a 30 foot, uh, no exaggeration, at least a 17 foot painting. Of Kai. So I said, boy, that little print shit you finna come with, don't even breathe. You know what I'm saying? And I guess it was just like, you know, I was just saying, like, yo, you know, you missed the opportunity. Every no, I didn't. No, I didn't, bro. Okay, let me give you guys my side of the story. And it's not no little paint. Matter of fact, let me grab this. Bro, this is half my body size, bro. Or if not bigger than my body size. This bitch, this is huge. This thing is huge. And it took hours, hours, days, a day or two. I was minding my business, right? We were out, uh, I think I had just started working with uh, Morty, which by the way, uh, if you guys haven't yet, download the Morty app because we're giving away a Nintendo Switch um, to one of you guys. All you gotta do is follow me on the Morty app and wish list five games. But anyways, it's enough of the promo. The reason why I'm upset is because not only did I spend like two days, what did he say, Wednesday? Did you finna come with? Thursday, he said it. On Tuesday, I said, yo, is it done? He said, no, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. On Thursday, he said it was done. And about this. Two, we skipped from Tuesday to Thursday saying I was finished. No, on Monday, I showed him the painting and I was like, yo, you think this is straight? On Tuesday, he asked me if I got it printed and I said, nah, not yet, but I can get it printed if I need to. He said, all right, we're just gonna do uh, tomorrow at 10, Wednesday, and Wednesday comes and I have it ready, and that's the day where I wait. This time, this was the 20, this was the last day of the stream, it was a 24 hour stream, and somebody came in with a 30 foot, I know it. They don't, it don't even matter if, if somebody came in with something else, bro. I was still gonna drop it off regardless, no matter how big or small, it's the gesture, like, hey bro, congrats on all your hard work, you know what I mean? And it wasn't even my idea. You know what I'm saying? So I spent two days doing this. And then, not even doing it. 
No exaggeration, at least a 17 foot painting of Kai. So I said, boy, that little print sh you finna come with, don't even bring it. You know what I'm saying? And I guess it was just like, you know, I was just saying like, yo, you know, you missed the opportunity. Ever I didn't, cause he ended up going that night. The night it was, the day, the day it was done, him, Pooty, uh, whoever, I forgot who else was there, probably Deshae, all went. Oh no, Deshae did go. Yeah, yeah. And we're right here. Right here. It's 10 o'clock. I'm like, bro, what's good? Are we, are we going or what? Keep in mind, got KP right here. That's my videographer. You guys have seen KP. It's 11 when I text him that. I'm texting him 11, 11.30, bro, send me the address. Then he says to text the Shay. What? Text the Shay, you, you're the one that told me to do all this shit. Ever since then, me and Chino hasn't talked ever since then. So ever since Kai got off his marathon, that's when me and Chino marathon ended. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. <laughs> that was good, right? That was good. But anyways, I don't, I know how uh, crazy life is and at any moment, Something can happen. And me and Chino talked for five years. No, I only been here for 2009, 2009. Four, three and a half years, I want to say. Because my first year, in my first six months in, in Cali, I hated Chino. And then we ended up moving in the same apartment building. We got hella cool. Um, he did a lot of stuff for my son. He did a lot of stuff for me every birthday, every Christmas. And I just can't let something petty like that end our relationship. Mind you, I haven't talked to him. I haven't even tried to talk to him. Like. I was being petty, but I feel like as hell, he's a man. Bro, this is what happened, bro. After all that went down, I'm like, damn, bro. You, you, you couldn't even hit me back or let me know, like, hey, we're pulling up over to Kai's, like, come with us or roll with us. None of that. I didn't get none of that. I just, KP's the one that told me, hey, bro, you see dubs over at Kai's already? I'm like, what? And we saw him on there. So we're sitting here watching the stream and shit waiting for bro what's what's the deal with the invite never got the invite next day i didn't get an apology nothing bro like oh my bad or sorry or shit i i, I tried or what I, I didn't hear nothing some weeks passed by and all i got was an unfollow on instagram i didn't hear from dub and i get no apology i didn't get nothing you know what i'm saying that's why i was mad that's why i was upset because it don't matter how old you are or how much money you got, or nothing like that, you you just don't do that to your friends, bro. Like, you're, you're, you gotta all ego, all pride aside, like, if you know you're in the wrong, you should literally just be like, damn, I f***ed up, bro, that's, that's my bad, you know what I mean? Like, that's a normal, it, it's not like a, uh, it's not a, it's not a anything, bro, it's just literally, if you're in the wrong, you apologize, that's it. That's it. And I was just waiting for that. I never got it. Because Dub can't... Dub, Dub is very hard-headed and it doesn't know how to say you're welcome. Doesn't know how to say thank you. None of that stuff. Sorry. None of that. It's like the world's most difficult thing for him to do, bro. And I'm not... I'm a grown-ass man, bro. I don't, I don't need... I don't need it. You know? It's like I don't... If you don't want to say sorry, it's cool. I'm not... I'm not like... I wasn't like, oh my god, we're not cool no more this is crazy like oh yeah whatever go cool. i'm still gonna go do my own shit you know what i mean i'm a man you a man hey i'm god i yeah. really 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 respect you for this shit. okay i really respect you for this shit. Okay. okay damn you see that sky just left me hanging out there oh you did that <laughs> uh, so what i'm gonna go do is, is i don't know I don't know what to get him, but I, his birthday was a week ago. And I was like, damn, bro, you know, my birthday, like I know my birthday is coming up and I know we're gonna be cool by then. He's gonna get me something. So I'm like, let me go get him something. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go think of something to go get him. And then drop, I literally, I swear to God on my life, I haven't talked to Chino in like two months. Like, no, it had to be like a month. Cause Kai, found, Kai thing ended, the Kai, no, the Kai thing ended on the second. So it's been too all You know, I know birthdays ain't really about gifts and shit, bro, but this was probably one of the most humbling birthdays that I had done had, bro. Went to Phoenix, was with my family, and was with uh, Mystic pulled up, and uh, I had my girl there, obviously, and obviously Valentine got me some stuff. You know, my family got me some. I'm saying like the LA, the LA side, 
Nothing. Besides Damo. Besides Damo. Shout out to Damo. Damo did uh did bless me with uh <laughs> some stuff on Fortnite, man. Other than that, the LA side I didn't I'm, I didn't see nothing from nobody. <laughs> oh, and we gonna see what he say. This is real authentic. I I promise to God. Have I talked have I said a word to, to Chino at all? I'm not even a cheater, I feel like I've been cheated. I go hang out with Tino. How's Dub? Like, he's good. Hang out with Doug, how's Tino? He's good. And I'm just sitting here like, bro, why you guys just ask each other? Mm. So, we're gonna, go, we're gonna go make it right with one of our friends, and um, we're gonna go get him a gift, and then, uh, yeah. So, see, uh, this happened. So, we in Best Buy, um, trying to figure out what to get him. We've been in here for like 10, 12 minutes, but this right here, I think this is the best gift possible. Mortal Kombat 2 Arcade. He can play this with his dogs. I forgot his dog. What's his dog's name? Uh, Kira. Kira. Yeah, Kira. Kira. What's the other one that nobody likes? Yumi. Yumi, yeah. So I guess you just, do you take this up? Like, can I pick this up? Oh, shitty. What is that? How is this little man? You need one of them long cards. All right. Hey. All that working out for nothing. Best Thursday. cartoon. Don't animated. do that. Don't do we that. want to talk about best. Right. Fuck out. <laughs> Toy Story. Best animated movie. Best animated movies, Monsters Inc. I don't care what nobody says. Monsters, everybody knows Monsters Inc. was probably one of the the goats, one of the greatest animated movies to ever come out of Pixar's studios. I only say that because I'm biased. I'm biased because I was supposed to work on that project when I was uh, at the Art Institute. I'm kidding. Totally kidding. <laughs> Hey, let me feel it. You're gonna break it. You can't hold this bitch, man. I can't get no break. break. Why the mortal. Bro, why, why, why do I need this, bro? I might throw it in this escape room that I'm working on. Look, grab my hand. You can't. I can't. I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's good? Hey, are you home or are you still out? Oh, no, I just stopped by the grocery store really quick. I'm just grabbing a pineapple. Okay, I'm just uh, I'm doing something right now. Just call me when you go. I legit thought he was just at the grocery store chilling. Okay, are we still doing the photo shoot? Yeah, that's what it's about. So just call me when you go. All right. This is no exaggeration either. Like, all this shit is real, bro. Should I just, should I just shower and cruise over? Uh, if you guys would like to, yeah, but bring your clothes. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna literally shower right now and cruise over. Yeah, bring uh, sunglasses, you know, favorite kind of have a, uh, we at, um, we at Chino House right now. So we're trying to, we trying to come up with a way for him to come down. Cause this is literally like random, like super random. But that's my homie, man. And I gotta just be the bigger person. So we gonna write get over it on here, but we trying to come out with a good way. So. What are you doing? Uh uh uh. uh, -uh. You put get, get it, it over. Oh, get oh. It. No, no, leave that right where it's at. Go back up with the T. Go back up with the T. Put get over. Put over over there. Oh, right here. Yep. Yeah. O-V-R. I got you, bro. I got. All times since I've been out of uh, high school, man. So O-V-R. No E-R. <laughs> You, you know mean, what? Did you finish high school? <laughs> yeah. I couldn't, I, so I couldn't spell of the other day. So shit, uh... O-V-E, and I could not figure out how to spell of. Uh, so how, how can we get him downstairs? Of. Y'all, how are we getting downstairs? Did you say I what say, does of mean? I go upstairs, ring the doorbell, he answers. Boom, elbow. Grab him from the back, strike him in the elevator, come down. He's already mad at me, it's perfect. Because then you come up and you're like, hey, what I, I told you I cut all this part out the video. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you coming in, you ready? Come on, come on, come on. At this point, I was pulling up to scoop up Damon Lex, because we're in a rush, bro. In a rush to go. I only have my the photo shoot peer space for like two and a half hours, so. We gotta be there at a certain time. So I'm, I'm trying to rush and shit, and then this. He's 
わけなくて。I was、uh, shocked at this point because I was like, what the f? You know? Because I'm supposed to be scooping up demo and then I'm in the middle of building the computer. If you've seen it in the previous, you have to watch the previous video.、Uh, but I'm in, the,、uh, I'm in the middle of literally building this PC and. and I was chopping it up with Demo, and I was like, okay, well, we gotta hurry, you gotta get your clothes and all this stuff. So I'm like putting together these parts on the computer, and then Dub pops out of nowhere. Cake, with a cake. <laughs> For real, man. I ain't talking to you in a while, man. I'm just saying, happy birthday. Dude, I know you would've did it for my birthday. You good, man? Yeah. Busy. Huh? Busy. Oh, I got you something else, man. Come here. Come here, man. I know, but come here. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, bro, and I also didn't like the fact he was filming. And I thought it was just gonna be, you know, pull up and, and really talk, not on camera type shit. But it's on camera now, so that's why I'm reacting to it with 30 ads. Hey, man. Hey, man. See, the story changed. No, it's Tuesday and Wednesday. The story keeps changing, bro. Let's just get the facts right. It was Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, you asked me, hey, do you have it ready? All right, well, we'll go tomorrow then on Wednesday. Wednesday, I have it ready. KP and I are sitting here from 10 to 1 a.m. waiting while you're on the stream, clearly having a crazy time. And you made me do this painting shit. And you're over there already. Like, you ain't, no, no hey, bro, we're, gonna, we're on our way, we're pulling up. No, nothing. Nothing. And then, even after the fact, I saw Pootie, bro. I know you hit up Pootie, like, hey, we're rolling over to Kai's or some shit. Or you hit up the Shay and we're going over to Kai's and shit. You did not hit me up, the person that you told me to do all this shit with. I'll, I'll do all this shit.、And、then you're there watching some bitch swallow a sword. That's why I'm upset. Because me and KP, I had, bro, KP was dying over here, bro. Like, it's 1 a.m. I'm like, bro, I got to take you back now, man. It's, it's too late. They probably, they're on their own time, bro. It's. 
What do you want me to do? You know? That's why I was upset. And then after the fact that you still didn't hit me, but oh, bro, my bad. That's all it would have took was, bro, I, I swear to God, I tried and nothing happened. And um, I'm sorry I didn't hit you up. None of that. It was literally weeks later, I got to unfollow on IG and that was it. That's why I was upset. Wednesday, yeah. did you do it? I'm printing it out today. Thursday is when you do it, right? That's the night we went. No, I went Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Bro, you right? moved into that house, you lived right. there. Right, but listen, you got a whole bed I can show you this, it was Monday. Nah, I ain't gotta show y'all. Skyler had a room too, y'all <laughs> are in that every day. I put Chino. You damn near paid rent in that bitch. <laughs> it was Wednesday, Wednesday, March 1st. It was Wednesday. Uh, I, I gotta go though for us. So if y'all wanna come to the to the photo shoot you're more than welcome to, but I know you guys gotta upload and shit. We got very nice But yeah, anyways, bro. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> it's all good, bro. My bad. What? Thank you. It took a long time to think about this, but I talked so to you. Why am I Cause I'm Asian. Nah, this is actually dope. I was hoping that you didn't want it. If you didn't want it, I was gonna keep it. And then be on some uh, Riley shit. Like, let's get Chino to 10K. But I was like, fuck it. If he, if he hold me, I'm like, then that was the name of the video. But you know what you can do? You can just. <laughs> Are you gonna come but, and hire someone? I guess. The reason why I made this video because I do want to inspire someone that is going through it with someone they haven't talked to in a week, a month, a year, a decade of something so petty or something large, but you still think about it, you probably still miss them a little bit. Just have that conversation. Get some closure. See if the beef is real, see if it's not. Life is too short and you don't want to go through life knowing that you could have when you didn't or that you shouldn't and you, you wouldn't because your pride was too high. That's not the life that I live. I want to know if some shit is insecure. Like I said, I, I haven't talked to him since February. So I didn't know if he was going to, you know, accept the gift or not, but I just had to do that for myself just to see and get some clothing because we've been in uh, France for years, you know what I'm saying? But I hope this inspired you to text your homie, text that girl, text that boy, text your father, text your cousin. Well, anyways, I don't got no, uh, no problem with Dub, man. We're straight. It was just that situation just rubbed me the wrong way and the fact that he couldn't hit me up and just say, yo, my bad. That's it. That's all it was. You don't have to unfollow and all this shit. Uh, I, I honestly don't even, I didn't care. I was like, to be honest, like I was literally chilling and minding my business. Someone had mentioned that like, you know, did you know that uh, Dub unfollowed you on Instagram? And I was like, wait, what? And then I checked it and I saw he unfollowed and then I was like, all right, well, just I'll unfollow too. <laughs> <laughs> bro, to me, you guys know me, like, I don't, like, Instagram, all that shit, bro, I don't really don't, I really, honestly don't give a fuck about, you know, especially if you're, if you're in the wrong, bro, you should make, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do right, man, that's, that's literally it, you know, it's, it's nothing crazy, it's like, like, if you're in the wrong, apologize and say I'm sorry, that's it, that was, that was all that was necessary, you know, but if you're too much, uh, if you, you, you're too, too, uh, how do I say this? Pride. Pride is a mother, bro. If you have too much pride, too much ego, too much, uh, you're the man and I don't need to do shit. You know what I mean? Then that's what's going to kill you because you're going to regret and have resentment and all this stuff when somebody do pass, does pass away. Just, yeah, life is literally too short. So you just got to do right. If I was in the wrong, if it was my fault, if I, if it was my fault, I would, you know me, bro, I would have, I would have been like, bro, I'm sorry. You know, let's say the situation was, uh, I told Damo that we're going to uh, go to an escape room. And then Damo sees a live stream where I'm at the escape room and he's sitting at the crib waiting. And I dipped and I went over there and he sees me playing the game, having a good ass time. And Damo's like, what's the address? What's the address? Am I pulling up? Or well, how come y'all didn't hit me up? And I don't say shit other than, hey, hit up, uh, hit up Ace. Because Ace is with me. Hit up Ace. But I, you told me to go. You told me to get ready and do all this other shit. You're supposed to 
that's just a normal thing. You don't want to do it because you're too prideful. And then, yeah, somebody's going to feel some type of way. And that's how I felt, bro. I was like, damn, you're really just not going to, you know, just not going to say shit. All right, cool. It's cool with me. So I wasn't being petty. I was just chilling. I'm like, all right, it is what it is, you know? So that's why I, uh, me and Dub haven't hung out. We haven't done any videos. We haven't talked. We haven't spoken. We haven't nothing. And uh, that leads me to my final point, guys. Well, first off, let me just say, look, I ain't got no problem with Dub. We talked. We had a, uh, a cool little talk, and I ain't got no problems with Dub. Zero. Me and Dub is on good good terms. Um, that's it. Everything is, we're, we're good. We're on good terms, and uh, we're going to leave it at that. But this leads me with my final piece to this whole video, which is, uh, sorry, my back is killing me. This leads me with my final piece to this entire video is that uh, I've come to realize that um, with my channel, with my content, there was a, a point in time, especially in like, for my OGs, there was a point in time where me and No Biggie were hyper-focused on ourselves and uh, I was living with Mystic, and then I really honed in and focused on my my own self, my content, and me as an individual YouTuber versus what I feel like I've became, which is I'm a content creator for other content creators, and I didn't I don't like that anymore, bro. Like for me, for myself, for this channel, for the future. Um, I get a lot of that and I've been told a lot of that where I'm basically creating content about other people If that makes sense, does that make sense? <laughs> I think it really stemmed from when I uh, Started creating like the group challenges like the mafia the uh, silent library and I and, and the, the bull riding challenge and just uh, turning my house into a giant board game those videos more group challenges more group challenges and it just became this thing where I would invite my Influencer homies to participate in a challenge that I came up with but I was never a part of it other than like creating it filming it posting it and that was it I was starting to lose Chino starting to not be Chino Alpha Wolf I was starting to be like a a game show host for Dub DDG, uh, To and 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 uh, Deshay and all. at the time Ty was there, Charg, all of us, and I was creating group challenges that involved a team, and I was just like a host and uh, to my own channel, and I'm just I'm at a point now where I'm just not happy doing that, bro. <laughs> I'm not happy creating that kind of content because it it's losing focus of me or my own channel, my own brand. Because I am also a content creator. I create my own content, bro. I I got some crazy ideas. I think I'm entertaining in my own right. You know, I want to take a step back from creating content based around my homies. If that makes sense, it doesn't mean I'm gonna stop filming with my friends. You know, if I'm out to dinner and Nate's there and we're eating or whatever, you know, Nate will be in the video. I don't mind that, but I'm not going to base the video around like having dinner with my homie Nate got key, you know, like <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing no, uh, none, none of that. It's going to be Chino does this, you know, Chino created this, you know, or Chino exp explored this place or did this crazy challenge. It's gonna be about me again because I felt like for the longest time now I've just been trapped in this thing where it's like you guys only want to see content unless it involves me doing a challenge with the group and I'm not happy with that bro. It, I'm, personally. I just, I want to get back to me, you got, like, even if you don't want to stick around because, oh, Chino's not doing any more, like, mafias with the group or whatever. I know what talents I have. You guys know me, bro. You guys know my name. You guys know what I'm capable of. I, I'm, to me, in my own eyes, bro, I'm a very talented individual, and I'm capable of a lot, and I know I can do a lot because I've overcame a lot of adversity throughout the 
throughout my YouTube career, bro. I've proven myself and I'm tired of being like underrated and looked at as the guy that hosts all these games for the the homies and shit. <laughs> like I don't wanna do that anymore, bro. It's that that stage is over, bro. I just wanna create content based around me, my girl, my family and traveling and having fun and hanging with my friends, but I don't want the videos to be about my friends. It's just not, this is not me, bro. I, the, the camera, I want it to be pointed at me on this channel because I am Chino. I am a, a, the guy that went zero to half a million. That channel fucking went out and I went another zero to half a million. Bro, if anybody's been through the trenches on YouTube, bro, I have. And I've been put down and overlooked for way too long, bro. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of doing, playing host. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm tired of being a, a fucking, looked at as, as, a, as a person that, that uh, just does things for other people when it. I haven't done, I feel like I haven't done shit for myself, you know? So, that's what my main focus is. It's just me and my girl having fun, poking at each other, or me going to go do some shit, or um, I do a challenge, but I'm in it, you know? Shit like that. I just can't, I can't play, I can't, for YouTube, I can't play that role of the the guy below that does things for others, you know? But. For all my, if, if that, if you guys don't fuck with that, bro, it is what it is, man. Because I'm not, do, I'm not taking the back seat no more, bro. There's only one Chino Alpha, bro, and I don't know what else to do, man. Other than tell y'all, if you don't like it, if you don't like the fact that I'm going to be making content based around me, if I'm too boring or whatever, you can hit unsubscribe, or if you hadn't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Uh, for all my day ones, my ride or dies that know what I can do and what I'm capable of and what I'm able to create on this platform, bro. I appreciate you for sticking it out and riding with me, bro. I will love the Wolf Gang to the day I die. I'm forever, 100% forever grateful for what you guys have blessed me in my life with. So I won't stop. I'll just keep creating. So. But, yeah, man, I'm out. Love you guys. I'm going to shut this off. Enjoy the rest of the night or day or whatever time you're watching this. And uh, remember, bro, if you woke up today, you already got the double U. You feel me? Wolf game. Wolf.